10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command and start, 2, 1. See it right there, Blue Origin has begun its liftoff into space. Katie, wanna, as we're all watching this rocket go up with such force, give us a sense of what those passengers are, are feeling right this moment. They are realizing just what I said, that it is so hard to leave the planet and they are going. And you realize that you are going somewhere and you are just not going to stop until that engine cuts out and then you'll be in space. They're getting, Thank the you. G's are starting Max to build up. Max Q, Beautiful. it's the highest dynamic pressure of the flight. So what does Max Q feel like? It's not a sudden thing for us. It's just that you you realize that it's the most stress on the on the vehicle itself. And it's, it's a nice thing to get done with. And that that is the most stress on the parts of the vehicle. So now you know your vehicle is doing fine. And what are they feeling inside their bodies at this moment? Just under our shoulders and to know that we've got a crew that is going to space. I think I, think I heard you ask about what it's like. Uh, they're, they're, they're actually feeling sort of pressed into their seat as if I tell people it's like having a gorilla sit on your chest, but sort of like gradually, gradually, gradually more and more. It's a little hard to breathe, but at the same time, you know that you can. You also know it's not going to last that long. They're coming up on Mach on two minutes, coming up on Mach 2. And then they're eventually going to hit Mach 3 and wait, weightlessness. Everything going perfectly so far, correct? As far as I can tell. All right, coming up here on Miko, main the engine cutoff. That will be followed in. shortly by separation. And at that point, after separation, we're going to uh, let the, the astronauts unbuckle and take in the freedoms of zero G. There is Miko, main engine cutoff. A beautiful shot down the New Shepard rocket. Look at that view. So this means they are weightless. Unreal. Coming up. So once they hit Awaiting zero Awaiting separation geez. here. As soon as they got that separation, there was zero G there. And here we are. You can start to see. Stand by. You're going to see the separation of the capsule from the booster itself. And Katie, once the booster separates, what's going to happen? That's when they are. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could hear that. I think that sounds like, yeah, it does sound like the crew inside right now, huh? It's awesome. That was definitely and a little bit And there we go. <laughs> Our astronauts have passed the Kármán line at about 328,000 feet, continuing their ascent. You see the two vehicles there. When the speed hits zero, you know that they've oh, hit yeah. Hapagee, their maximum Woo! altitude, and you hear they're having <laughs> quite an experience. <laughs> that is a high, Katie, isn't it? Oh, you, you can hear it in their voices. There's nothing like it. The floating, the flying, you're flying inside the capsule, and the view of the Earth. That combination. And, and those windows are as big as you are. And I, I imagine that no matter how many times you practiced, it still feels different warning. when it's real. One minute warning. 
It, you know, it, we, you know, we call this civilians in space. It's people in space, and when it's uh, when it's real, it's just there's just nothing like that feeling, and it makes you realize that there's a it's a whole big world out there in that universe, and just waiting for us to explore. You can see the separation. You see those two ships there. So the the boosters on the bottom there. Well, actually, the boosters probably on the top. It depends on the camera angles, but the brighter one is usually the booster. happy right there so almost good. seven minutes into their flight into space and katie tell Thank people what they're seeing on the right of the screen what is about to make landfall again so they're, they're they're going faster and faster and faster now they're they're starting to slow down in the dis that's actually we're looking at the booster there so right. your, two things are happening. The booster actually lands before they do. And you see it coming in for a landing, slowing down. It's going to land at about five miles per hour, usually right on that launch pad. So that's the booster landing that we're seeing right now. So it can and be they are again. about two miles and away. Booster touchdown. Welcome back, New Shepard. Wow. A beautiful rocket that provided a beautiful flight to space. <laughs> First step, your booster has landed. Bullseye for the booster right there on the launch pad. Blue control, Bezos, that's great to hear about the booster. They were happy to hear about the booster. To be able to hear them, they're just so calm. Excited, but yet so calm. You have a very happy crew up here, I want you to know. <laughs> And now they're just floating. You see it right there. You see the blue origin capsule. I see blue. I see the big bar. Stand by drogues. Stand by drogues. Stand by main. Stand by main. Oh, so far, a nominal flight. Here comes the crew capsule back from space. The drogues deployed. Here are the mains out, reefing and coming to full inflation. Our, our rocket went over Mach 3, and now they're coming floating back down at just about 15 or 16 miles an hour, about to join us home back here in West Texas after having gone So over Robin and George, you see those parachutes now. Those are slowing it down to 16 miles per hour. Eventually, before it hits that desert, Carrie, it's going to slow down friend? to just one mile per hour. So it is a slow and gentle descent. Geo, it seemed to go about as well as it possibly could have gone. Just got about a minute and a half. You know what? We had 15 successful floating, tests before this, George, before the consecutive the tests. Now we can count a 16th, it seems, uh, because this one was the first one with humans on board, and it looks to be going very, very well. Multiple sensors, and just six feet above the ground, that, that cushion of air will, will puff, and they will have a soft touchdown, almost like just sitting in a chair. 
but I'm sure their adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> What a gentle float. And George, if you can see the capsule there, it's looking a little bit toasty. And touchdown. <laughs> there we Welcome go. back, New Shepherd. There we go. Human crew. What? What new a shepherd. flight. Congratulations to all of you. Welcome back to Earth, 35 uh, seconds ahead of schedule. <laughs> 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 oh.